Hello again. This is Math 2232 coming to you from the College of DuPage. And the title of this lecture is More Details, Final Installment Pre-Launch. Uh, as always, please be attentive learners while watching this video. By way of introduction, Jesse and I would rather be flying through clear skies as your flight crew um, uh, in that certainly was what I was planning to do when I originally uh, was assigned to teach three classroom classes. But based on some of the needs of the department, I was asked if I would teach one VCM and then a second and then a third. And so now what I find myself doing, and Jesse is uh, with us as my co-pilot, we're flying through some COVID kind of skies that are VCM. We'd rather have it otherwise, but we've got this. We've done it before. We'll get you there safely. But this is uh, going to require us to do some things. Uh, as we're flying through these uh, these clouds. So anyway, this is the way the VCM is going to work. Um, and so here are some additional topics beyond what was shared before. I have made the 2232 course syllabus available and in fact made your Blackboard shell available. So all the information is there, but it's no real new information because it's also in all of these videos, including this one. I'm going to describe the Blackboard and Zoom protocols for Monday. I'll talk about where you get technical assistance beyond Jesse and me. We are your first line of defense. We are your flight crew. And uh, I'm going to talk about the next layer of Math 2232 content. Uh, mentioning that there are authentic prerequisites and how we're covering the material. There'll be a technology footnote, and then I'll talk a little bit about the way we're going to do testing. Okay, so first of all, you want to go to bb.cod.edu, Blackboard, click on this class, and in the syllabus tab, if you click there, you will find uh, the written syllabus. Now, this syllabus is deliberately Spartan, and all the information that is uh, reported there has been contained in the videos, including this one. And uh, my first order of business uh, when we meet uh, on Monday is to uh, briefly review this during class to see if there's questions. But uh, pre-reading is a good idea. Uh, and here's the way we're going to do it on Monday. I debated doing other things and decided that this is the best thing to do. So in your Blackboard shell in the panel, there's a place called Collaborate Ultra. So once you've logged into Blackboard, gotten to this class, you're going to punch this button. And that's your next step. You will come to a screen that looks like this. And your next step is to punch up here and to get into the course room. And uh, again, you got a course room. Here is the one for VCM02. The other one, VCM04, will work the same way, except they'll have a 04 there. And so you click here, and you move to the course room. And then there's a button down here that is called Join Course Room, which is what you do. So you click on Join Course Room, and you will find yourself in a screen that looks something like this. Now, I expect to be there uh, at the beginning of class, so you should not be the only one in the room, uh, but you'll, uh, you'll be there, and it may ask you to adjust your uh, audio or things like that. Some of you know uh, more about this than I do, and I do plan on recording these VCM sessions and uh, sharing links for you. These will be shared after class, of course. Now, I actually don't like Blackboard Ultra too much, and I liked Zoom better, and Jesse and I were talking about just doing this whole thing in Zoom, but then recently there have been four outages that the College of DuPage has had with Zoom. Now, that might be the College of DuPage's fault, not Zoom, but I am going to be using Zoom only as a backup. So if uh, Blackboard Ultra crashes, there will be a Zoom backup, and this will be in the announcements on Blackboard, and also you'll get an email just in case. But your primary option on Monday is going to be this Collaborate Ultra, so this is where you should go and where you should be. Uh, assistance beyond Jesse and me. Jesse uh, 
today anyway, works in the uh, tutoring center, although he is an instructor level uh, talent and we're fortunate to have him. Uh, I hang out in the math assistance area where other instructor level people uh, tend to hang out, perhaps uh, except for Jesse. Uh, They're available. They have extensive hours. The syllabus does cover this. Uh, the room is SRC 2102. And also they have an outpost in the PE Center 1220. Or excuse me, it is 120, not 1220. Uh, and there is online assistance. And you can get the online assistance by clicking this button in your Blackboard shell. So if you click this button, you go directly to this shell and you say what is your name but someone will come talk to you and will arrange for you to get help with one click so this is a a, a great thing for you to uh, use as you need help now there are prerequisites and the prerequisites are called math 2231 which is calc 1 with a grade of c or better uh, it is an authentic prerequisite because although we will help you with gaps and things like that uh, the understanding is, yeah, you come in with 2231 knowledge. Uh, to perhaps help you assess this and maybe give you an idea of the way I write tests or something like that, I am posting uh, in your Blackboard shell um, a Math 2231 final exam that I gave uh, recently. And so you can glance at that if you want. It's not assigned, it's just there for your use. But this is an authentic prerequisite and you will be expected to step up to the prerequisite requirements. And we do have a plan. This is the next layer of content. Now, uh, this is a plan. I don't know if this is the flight plan we'll actually do uh, because uh, God, uh, when I talk to God, sometimes she just laughs at my plans. But here are my plans, and these plans are so shown by week and by section in the book. Now, I am working with some other uh, Calculus II instructors, uh, but I'm the only one doing a VCM. And they're wanting to have a, a common plan. So I am test driving this plan. This is the plan that they have. But they have a test on uh, June 29th. And they have a test on uh, July 13th. Another test on July 27th. And another one on August 4th. We're not going to have that many tests. We're going to have two tests. Although we will share that uh, neither of us will have class on July 4th. 4th. Now, you can study math on July 4th. In fact, I will be doing math on July 4th, but um, there will not be class on that day. Okay, so uh, what what's happening in our class? Well, you will have a period of time to do the final exam, and it will run from July 11th to July 14th. And that shaded area is when I expect you to complete the midterm. So we will have one high stakes assessment there, as I talked about earlier. And we'll have another high stakes assessment at the end. And that will happen from August 1st to August 4th. So you do have a range of times to complete this. And so that's the content uh, that we will be covering. So if I developed uh, a set of minimal problem sets, and so these are problems that are assigned. So some of you will be saying, well, what problems do we need to do? Well, these are ones that you can uh, do, and I certainly would encourage you to do at least these. This says a minimal problem set. And there will be low stakes assessment and unquizzes that will be separately assigned. We'll talk more about those when we get together. Uh, please note that the midterm and final exams are the only two exams that we will have. They're only two high stakes assessment, and these will be mandatory course requirements. The course cannot be passed without them, so you must take them. Um, and these will be administered either in, since this is a VCM, either in a COD testing center, live testing center, or in a separate virtual testing center where it could be administered. But I'm telling you that it is the student's responsibility, and we'll say more about this, for scheduling a virtual event if you're having that. If you're just going to the COD testing center, all you have to do is go when they're open and you'll have an opportunity to take the midterms or the finals. Uh, and uh, 
by uh, COD edict, and this will be true on the uh, high stakes assessment, uh, this is a pencil and paper course. And so you should do homework the same way. And there may be certain, in fact, there will be certain low stakes assessments that will allow the use of technology, but these will be the exception rather than the rule. Now, the, I have worked with the testing center for a long time using my tests there. I do this even before there was COVID, uh, but now uh, uh, it's uh, even, a, even a richer partnership. So these exams will be proctored, whether you take them in person like this. And COD has six testing centers that can meet your needs, and you see that they're uh, located in various uh, places. But there's also a virtual testing center uh, and so you also can make arrangements to uh, do it in the virtual testing center. So if students are unable to test in person, the virtual testing center offers three sessions a week and is easy to use. And these are the sessions that they have scheduled. So you have a lot of opportunities to do this and students can register via Register Blast. I'll say more about this later as we get closer to the midterm. In closing, now more than ever, time is precious. Each day must count. Do the math. It will make you strong. And now more than ever, take care of yourself and of each other. Strive to make a difference. I'm really uh, looking forward to studying with you. Please take care and uh, God bless you all.